Here's wall number two standing. Uh, this one went up a whole lot faster. And you see why there's only like uh, 10 studs going you know, side to side. Uh, where's this guy? If you can see him very well in the light. But it uh, had a lot more wood. I think I used about 20 pieces of uh, 2 by 4 by 8s for all that stuff. So this wall was a lot lighter and didn't have the headers. So it went a lot faster. So I'm hoping this third wall on this edge here will also go faster. Let's find out. Here's the third wall standing. And uh, second and third wall, it's very helpful to have two or three other people, well, two or three people total, getting the wall up so you can get it somewhat plumb and, and in place. And uh, especially, I put those double top plates on and apparently you're supposed to wait on those. I didn't. I put them up there with the double top plate on, so they interlock, but it's a tight fit um, when you're trying to push the wall into the other wall. But anyway, everything's uh, coming together nicely. And I've got my lumber cut for the fourth and final wall. You see this guy is the header for the doorway. And I'm making that the entrance 60, well, it's 61 inches to give you a little bit of room, but a nominal 60 inch doorway. So, that's what I got right now. Uh, gonna call it a night and then tomorrow I'll try to put that wall together. One thing I wanted to mention about the windows. So, I put plywood over those and um, I saw online an easy way to do this, and it is easy. Uh, is to, to get these things cut out is and I'll show you over here I already cut this one out but this guy over here uh, inside on the corners of the windows I drilled screws through and uh, left just enough for them to uh, for me to be able to run a chalk line to all four corners so you see I got my chalk line going up there and then it goes over and down back over here to this screw. So, uh, just draw a chalk line, then you take your circular saw and you just cut it out. And now we have the finished product, two windows cut out. Okay, here's the last wall standing, and it's got the plywood up. I found out that walls without plywood are a lot lighter than walls with plywood, especially with that header on there. Well, even with the header on there, it was lighter than lifting up, say, that back wall with all the plywood on it. So we're just gonna walk in, see what we got in here. I still got my bottom plate on, on the door, so I need to cut that out. But hanging this plywood up vertically um, wasn't as fun as when it's on the ground. But take a look on the inside here. And there's the, the header for the doorway. It's made the same way as the, uh, the headers over here for the the windows just bigger and we got double jack studs mosquitoes that's why the camera keeps jerking we got double jack studs holding the, the doorway up and let's see what else so I'll just take a look in the inside all the walls are pretty pretty plumb check that with a a level, just put them on a moderately straight stud and see if it's level in the vertical direction. Well, we have two windows, some walls, more mosquitoes. And let's see, my my circular saw I bought it at a garage sale and. Apparently the previous owner had sawed through the cord and repaired it. Well, the repair came undone. But it was just as I was cutting out this last window. So that was that was good. Got that all cut out. Anyway, so the next step. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention here was uh, so these walls are um, there's braces on the outside, but um, they're just there for my peace of mind. Um, these these studs in the corners are screwed together. And the double top plates are are keeping the uh, the tops from 
you know, falling one way or the other. And that goes all the way around. Double top plate. All the way around. So apparently that is a very useful thing to uh, to keep the keep your structure from, from falling apart. Keeps your corners locked. And I found out that it's much easier if you put those double top plates on after you raise your wall instead of before. Keep that in mind if you're doing if you're going to do something like this. Anyway, that's what we have right now. Next up is the roof, and I've got all my materials out here. I've got under there some some OSB for the sheathing, and I've got two 2 by 8 by 16s that I'm going to cut to 14 feet, and those will be the ridge beam. And then I got all the rest of these 2 by 6 by 10s that I'm going to cut to about uh, 9 feet, and we'll have some overhang. And we'll have a overhang on the the gable side, which will be this side, and the uh, the other side. I don't know. I don't know what you call the non-gable side, the roof side, maybe. Got my tar paper or my my felt paper. It's not really tar paper. And some miscellaneous roofing things with some ridge vents. Help ventilate the shed. That'll be good. All right. So next up will be the shed roof.